Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the second of a series of podcasts highlighting Go Brazil's three wines for winter. Uh, today, I'm going to be focusing on a, a blend, a red blend from the Campos de Cima winery. It's, no, it's known as Assinatura, and that's Portuguese for signature, and it is indeed their signature blend. It's their top red wine, this one from 2018. It's a blend of Shiraz, Tempranillo and Tanat, three grapes that I think a lot of you will be familiar with, particularly the Shiraz and the Tempranillo. Tempranillo obviously um, a Spanish grape originally. Uh, Tanat, perhaps less well known, uh, it comes from the southwest of France, uh, a tannic and, and very deeply coloured red grape. Now I'm just going to point to the map. Campus de Cima is a small, very small family run winery, only about 15 hectares. They are right down, I'm having to stretch here, but right down on the border with Argentina in what we could call the cowboy country of Brazil. And unlike where most of the wines are produced in Brazil, this is a much uh, lower lying area of about 100 meters, 150 meters. So it's rolling countryside, it's quite hot, it's quite far south compared with the main wine areas of the Serra Gaúcha here. And so the grapes do ripen very well. And indeed, 2018 was one of the best vintages on, on record. I'm not going to pour the wine today. I'm going to have to um, uh, <laughs> accept my apologies for that. It's early in the week. It's middle of the day. And um, please excuse me if I don't. But I can tell you all about it. And when we pour the wine, you'll see that it has a, a nice deep garnet colour. And it's been aged in... French Barrique, these are the 225 litre barrels uh, for 18 months, so it's an, it's an oaked wine, but it doesn't smell or taste oaky. Um, that the oak has been allowed to integrate very well with the fruit. Um, we have um, hedgerow fruits so and little blackberry flavours in there uh, and on the, the nose as well. Um, hints of, of mint and chocolate. It is quite a complex wine. Um, I think it would go very well with uh, venison more of uh, venison game and beef the, the darker meats and for vegetarians perhaps uh, dishes which are spiced or, or, or cheeses which are relatively well flavored as well so it's um it's not quite as heavy bodies as one might imagine the shiraz that spiciness that one associates with shiraz doesn't come through very strongly so the wine is i would say medium to, to full bodied in fact rather than full and um, but a lovely as I say, autumnal flavours to the wine, um, very, very subtle and mellow, um, and it will benefit, certainly benefit from a little bit of decanting as well, just to aerate the wine, give it a bit of a, a, a breathing. Uh, so highly recommend it. This wine is, as I say, one of our three wines for winter. It's on offer at 20 pounds a bottle, uh, normally at 24. I should point out that only 2,000, let me just double take, but I think it was 2,000 or so bottles were produced. That's right, 2,200 in fact. Each bottle is individually numbered. This one is number 767, and um, it comes thoroughly recommended, and I think it would make a nice present for some as well. Thank you very much.